everybody it's your girl B Octavia and I am back with another video welcome to my channel if you are new my name is B Octavia I'm 23 years old and I'm from Washington DC today will be yet another continuance in speaking on Michael Frey just to get this off my conscience and to really give the lesson out that I, that's really been in my head on this and this will be about his killer and a lot of people would say killers you know what I'm saying but I feel like the person who pulls the trigger especially first is the killer you know what I'm saying? Anybody secondary or whatever is after the fact is an accessory. You know what I'm saying? And that's just in my eyes, okay? A lot of people don't think the way that I think about things, but that's how I think about it. I keep getting these comments on my age versus my content, and it's like, listen, if you see the title and it's intriguing, and then you see me and you get thrown off because I say I'm 23, whatever the case is, click out. But for the people that are continuing this video, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for supporting what I do and what I like to talk about. Today, I want to get into Michael Anthony Jackson. And y'all might be like you talking about michael jackson like the king of pop no i'm not <laughs> i'm actually not you know what i'm saying i got comments about this person early on when i started talking about big head gary and things like that and at first i'm like oh they must be mistaken you know the only michael jackson i know of is michael jackson the king of pop but i digress on that there is a michael anthony jackson and this person worked for michael frey he worked for Michael Frey, and he took Michael Frey's life. A comment came in on one of the last videos that I did on Michael Frey, and the comment was basically saying that Michael Frey lost his connect. You know, after Rayful went to jail, Michael Frey lost his connect which made you know people want to choose sides or do some snake shit you know honestly that's not a good enough reason it makes more sense now that you know with that being true if that is true it makes a lot of sense now why it was done and why it was done by that specific person now, I already knew that there was some type of greed to it, where you feel jealous, like he's giving X, Y, and Z to these folks and not you, or whatever the case is, right? And it all leads me back to, you gotta have a plan B, a plan C, a plan D, all the way down to Z, in my opinion. Especially if you're working for somebody, that's... It's not the same as a 9 to 5, but you're working for somebody. You're under somebody. You're taking orders from somebody. So that's where I'm making that comparison. And if you get fired from this one job, you know, shouldn't you have a backup plan to work for yourself? Or to go work for somebody else, but not at the expense of... The person that you worked for especially when you're not like my thing about it is I see a lot of indirect shit like if you have a problem with not getting something from your boss because that's what it is not getting a handout from your boss anymore and you having to really get it out the mud this is what you go to you go to amazing lamps like it's like if you put that type of energy into your own shit and it, it don't have nothing to do with killing nobody. Like, you being productive, you moving your own weight, whatever the case is. Why does your shit stop when he loses his connect? But 
I digress, you know. That's how a lot of people is, even today. Michael Frey loses his connect, and even Alpo said he fell off. And maybe that's why he was taking shit from Alpo. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I fell off, yeah, let me get your shit, you know. That's what I see. So, we're going to talk about Michael A. Jackson. Now, when Michael Frey fell off, just as Alpo recruited Wayne Perry, he goes to recruit Michael Jackson. Oh, he not taking care of you, whoop de woo I can do this, I can do that. And Michael A. Jackson falls into this trap. He gets $9,000, which is a lot of money, especially to somebody who really isn't hustling like that. You know what I'm saying? You waiting on the next man to do it. You know what I'm saying? You waiting on the next man to get the drugs so you can move it. He gets $9,000 in cash. He gets a half a kilo of cocaine. You know, not a, a half. He gets a 9mm handgun to kill Michael Frey. Now, that's only, what, three things? And you can buy a numerous things with $9,000, but again, you not no real hustler. Just just imagine why Michael Frey couldn't get right. You know what I'm saying? If he did fall off, just imagine why that was. You can't trust everybody. You will get set up real fucking quick if you don't know the right people to bring you to the right people. Like, hello? He gets these three things and he goes on his way and he executes the murder, you know, the plan. He executes the plan of killing Michael Frey. Out of those three things, so many indictments came down only two years later. Only two years later, Michael Frey's murder happened in 1991. The indictment was unsealed in 1993, and the investigation stopped in 1991. So, these charges were between three men, which were Michael A. Jackson, Wayne Perry, and another guy named, named Price. And see, this is where the police are funny to me. Well, the police say this indictment, at least in part, is based on Alpo's statement. It's based on the cooperation of Alpo Martinez. And then it says, it says that the case against Wayne Perry and the other two men, including Michael A. Jackson, is based on his testimony. So which one is it? Is it in part or is it based on his testimony, yes or no, you know? But I know the answer because it is based on his testimony wholeheartedly, the whole thing. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the karma that Michael A. Jackson received. After all, you know what I'm saying? We already know the karma that Wayne Perry received of trusting somebody and being so close to somebody and not seeing the snake that they are right in front of your face. You know, I feel like he was um, he was blinded by a smoke screen of the cars, of the jewelry, of the women, of that lifestyle that DC isn't really prone to. You know, it's not a lot of people that grew up like that. It's not a lot of people that live that lifestyle in DC, you know, um, and especially back then, you know, so... I feel like he was blinded and he didn't really see him for who he really was until it was too late. And um, of course, the karma that Michael A. Jackson received is, you know, you never bite the hand that, that fed you. 
A lot of people want to say, don't bite the hand that feeds you, and that's true too. But you always have to remember what people did for you. It's not always about what people are doing for you. You got to remember what they did for you and always respect that. I feel like if a lot of young people or whoever has that mentality, this switch and side shit won't happen. You know, you supposed to have faith in your boss that he has the power and the ability to get back in position. But that's the, that's the hater part too, you know. And I feel like it's sad because Michael Frey probably had a couple people around him that was really hating on him. You know, you really didn't believe in him because if you did, you wouldn't have did what you did. You feel what I'm saying? If you believed that he could get back in position, then you wouldn't have been like, oh, nah, I'm going a, I'm to a go over here with Alpo, you know. And, and, and look at what happened to Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Look at what happened to him. Not even two years later. And and again, a nigga that's, that's working for somebody, either he gonna branch out and do his own shit, or he always gonna be a worker. Seriously. Either, either you gonna always be a worker, or you gonna do that shit on your own. He only had two years of freedom after he killed Michael Frey. And then you in jail for the rest of your life. Or Ariva Dirty. You know, you gone. And all because you trusted somebody and Michael Frey probably told you about him. Michael Frey probably, you know what I'm saying? I know how niggas talk. So so, your karma was real. You trusted the wrong person. When you should have you trusted your boss, or you should have trusted yourself enough to get it out the mud. You got to risk your life to make those connections, if you really bout it. But a lot of people want to take so many shortcuts. And you see where it gets you? It gets you locked up quicker. Because you didn't even realize, you didn't even think that he could go straight to the feds. He could cooperate with the police. You didn't think about it. It's something that everybody should think about. If you are working for somebody, you a worker, and I'm, you know what type of worker I'm talking about. Never switch sides. And if you really got a problem with your boss or whoever that's in your clique, y'all got to speak on that. Because it's not real if you're not speaking on what your issue is. You can really get some clarity if you just talk. You can really clear things up. And be like, nigga, I don't fuck with you. And he be like, nigga, I don't fuck with you. And then y'all don't fuck with each other amicably. You feel what I'm saying? So, it's a thought. You know, it's a thought that should be on everybody's mind. Especially the workers of the world. So, yeah. Leave your thoughts and your comments below on Michael A. Jackson. Let me know if you know where he at right now. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Because I can't really find, like, people keep popping, like... Michael Jackson, the king of pop, keep popping up. So I'm like, okay, let me know what he's been sentenced to. If I find it, I'll put it up here on the screen. But until then, and, you know, whatever, it's your girl, Beyonce, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.